Hello guys and welcome to this review video for the Resurrection ROM build 6 or 5.5.5 for the Zenfone 5. Now if you would have been following my Facebook page or the Instagram feed, you would have noticed that I say there was something very strange about this ROM and we will come to that later. Okay, so the first thing that we'll go through is what new features that are available in this ROM and why you should be considering this ROM as your daily driver. So the first thing we will do is head over into settings. Okay, and as you can see, we'll go into configurations and as you can see, there are a lot of options over there. So there's a lot of things to customize and some are really good. The first thing that I would like to show is, of course, we'll go into gestures and then you have the pie controls. And now if you are aware of the pie controls, it's that you can, you know, drag up from left, right, you know, left or right and from the top to get granular controls and not use your manual buttons. So that is very cool and I really like that stuff and pie control was present first in the back ROM and now it's there in the resurrection ROM, which is quite good. The three fingers gesture is again a very cool feature to take a screenshot. So you can drag your three feature in fingers down the screen and it will just take a screenshot, which is very cool. Now you also have a option called the app sidebar over here. So what you can do is you know, when you enable the app sidebar and you select the app bar content, okay, you can drag down from the left or from the right, whatever you choose and you can select a specific selection of apps that you wish to. So you can also get a app circle bar, okay, which will just be you know, a circular list of apps that you can choose from. Now, you know, as you can see, it's very useful and some of you might really like it. Okay, so that's a very new feature and quite enjoyable feature. And there's also the gesture anywhere, as you can see, which you can again try out if you want to. All the themes work, okay, most of the themes should work with the Zenfone and as you can see this is a pitch black theme which I have used in all of my screenshots. I'll just change it up. So this is a pitch black theme or the theme that comes, you know, with the Resurrection ROM as the signature style. So it's quite good and but I do like the default update so or the default theme so you know, that works better for me. Okay, the next thing that will come is that this supports OTA, which is kind of weird to call it an OTA because as you can see, it's there you go, it's updates. If you go there and as you can see, it says an update is available. But if I hit the download button, it will just actually take me to the Google Docs, which will just link you to the zip file that you need to download and install manually. So that's all about the OTA. So, you know, that's a bit weird. So the next thing that we will see is that this ROM retains some of ASUS features like, you know, you get the ASUS launcher, as you can see, it's a default launcher from ASUS. Okay, if you haven't noticed before, there are many ASUS apps, as you can see, the camera, the backup, the browser, the calculator. Okay, and then you have the contacts app, you know, which is predominantly as it is like in ASUS, except the colors are changed because of the change of theme. There you have the FM radio app, the ASUS support app and you also have some other tools like PC link and stuff. So, but the another strange thing about this ROM is that it is missing out on a lot of, you know, essential apps and features like, you know, the clock widget or the clock app, sorry, the clock app, the messaging app, the music player and you know, certain stuff like that. And still the ROM size is around 618 MB, which is, you know, quite weird. So, you need to fill up those gaps and install apps, which can be a blessing, you know, like for me, I really like to use some third party apps for music, for camera and contacts and messaging applications. So, you know, it doesn't fill up my internal storage. So it gives me an option to choose the apps that I want to use. So the ROM also comes with an app called the 3C Toolbox Pro, if you can see over there. So that comes with a lot of tools and customization options available throughout the apps. You can check that out. Now, there's a lot of things to go through and it's quite interesting. So the next thing that we'll go through is the double tap to sleep and double tap to wake. So if I go down into display, okay, and there we have the double tap to wake and double tap to sleep. So all that works, it works very fine. Okay, but this is the strange thing that I was talking about in the ROM because that if you switch both of them off, you'll get a huge battery drain. Like, you know, the battery will drain like crazy like it used to in build three and build four. But if you keep it on, you know, you won't get any battery drain at all. Like the battery drain or the battery life, which I'll be talking about in a short while is 
you know, quite good. It's as close to stock Lollipop ROM or the stock KitKat ROM. You know, I got a huge battery update. If you would have checked my Instagram feed, you would have seen that we got around 23 hours of, you know, standby time and very short amounts of screen on time, but we'll come to that later. The next thing would be that the ROM is pre-rooted. So you can get root access in all of the apps that requires root access, but you would want to install a super SU app to, you know, have a better. The next thing that we'll talk about is of course, would be the, what stuff works and what doesn't. Now, everything works basically, you know, you, as you can see the dual SIM works. So to show that I'll just check balance on both the SIM cards and check out if it works. First I'll do, I have a Vodafone SIM, so I'll, Try number SIM number one, which is Vodafone. Okay, and as you can see, that works. Okay, the next thing that we'll try out is the Airtel SIM, which is in SIM slot two. And as you can see, that works too. So both the SIM cards work, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, the GPS, and everything works. The one thing that I could not test right now, but many people requested was that whether OTG works, but I do not have an OTG capable device right now with me so I cannot test that so if anyone did test that and if it worked I would love if you would you know report that in the comments down below or on the Facebook page so but you know some people did report that they are getting freezes and they are not getting cellular network or Wi-Fi so if that's the case the only thing that you need to do is flash the proper DNX and IFWI unlock files, okay? Because they control the baseband or which is, you know, controls the communication tools in your phone, mainly your, you know, the SIM card or the phone, cellular network, your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth and stuff like that. So if you mess up those files, you'll probably get freezes and Wi-Fi not working or, you know, SIM cards not working. So. The thing I recommend is to flash the files that I have linked down in the description below because that's what I flashed. Okay, you know, those are the IFI and DNX files that I have flashed. But then again, the Zenfone has so many variants in itself. Okay, so I use an 8 GB, 1.2 gigahertz, 2 GB RAM model. So if you are using this model, those DNX and IFI, IFWI files would work the best. So go ahead and flash them before actually installing this ROM. Okay, the next thing that we'll go through is the question that so many people ask and that would be whether the YouTube videos and audio sync. Now I'll play a video from MKBHD to show that because, you know, since he talks to the camera and it's easily understandable whether it's syncing or not. Now, as of now, all I can say is that it does sync. Okay. So audio and video does sync, but it does stutters once in a while, but it will always sync back. Okay. So YouTube has stopped for some reason, but anyway, so the audio and video does sync and, but on Instagram, they don't on Snapchat. It doesn't at times and sometimes it does, but on YouTube and on offline video playback, which I can show you again. Okay. So I'll go to music and play out that video. Okay. So this is another place where the audio and video does sync up. So as you can see, it does sync up with the audio and video and it also works in the MX player. Okay, so the audio and video sync works on most places that you would want to care about. It doesn't work properly on Instagram On sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. So it's quite weird. So besides that, it does sync up in offline video playback and on YouTube. So I guess that would be good for most people. Okay. The next thing and the most important thing that you would want to care about is of course the battery life. Now the battery life is pretty great, but again, as I said, you have to keep double tap to sleep and double tap to wake, you know, enabled. So as you can see, as you know, I have charged twice over there, you know, the phone over there and over there. So the cell standby time is again, almost one day, 16 hours. So you can cut off around, uh, you know, two hours from that. Okay. Because of my charging and so. So that's a pretty good, decent battery life. As you can see, the screen on time is three hours and 15 minutes. And you can again cut out around 45 minutes of screen on time for that on a single charge. So 
it doesn't rain at all now if you would have again seen my screenshots you would have seen that i uploaded a lot of screenshots okay from the cpu reloaded as to how much deep sleep now i'm getting so as you can see that's around 74.3 percent of deep sleep and 25 percent of you know full usage then again you know when the, you are actually using the phone, the battery drains a bit a bit faster when you're actually using the phone. But then again, it's quite normal and quite close to the stock ROM. So now if I open up that graph, and if you just look at that, as you can see, the Wi-Fi has been on all time. The GPS has been off all the time. Okay, the screen on times has been, you know, I've opened up the screen very less, and the awake times has been quite consistent with the screen on times. So the phone isn't awake, much awake when I'm not using the phone, which is a very good sign. I guess the developers did a very good work. So the battery life that you can expect from this ROM is very good, provided you keep double tap to sleep and double tap to wake enabled. So that's pretty much from this review video, okay? And if you would ask me, I would definitely recommend this ROM for your daily driver. It is one of the most polished and the most stable ROMs or custom ROMs that is available for the Zenfone 5. And if you are really a fan of Cyanogen Mod, you can still try out Resurrection ROM because it has everything from the Cyanogen Mod and the Cyanogen Mod has to offer and it has something extra. So just go ahead and install this ROM. The guide for that will be down in the description below. It will also contain the download links and have the IFWI and the unlocking tools and everything. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.